in the absence of a vaccine, we would advise uh, the community to still exercise uh, caution. There's still a risk that we, especially the vulnerable groups, can get infected. Worse, there is a danger that there are those among us who are pre-symptomatic, who do not show any signs of the disease, but who carry the disease and may unknowingly infect others. Therefore, it is important that as we resume our activities, including our activities in the mosque, we must take steps to protect ourselves and to protect others. There are things that we are used to doing when we go to the mosque, which we never realize, but medical science now has shown that they may actually carry a certain risk in terms of spread of this infection. Therefore, we now need to modify some of our usual practices in order to reduce the risk of infections to ourselves as well as to others. This is especially so because we are now allowing more people to come into the contact with each other, both in society as well as when we return to the mosque. We also reduce the risk of aerosol infections by wearing a mask, and we should refrain from talking in the mosque. It has been shown that talking and singing is high-intensity activity that poses a high risk of aerosolization of the virus and hence leading to infections. And this has been shown that in some places of worship that classes have developed as a result of the, these kind of uh, activities. Another activity that we do not realize that may pose a risk is the act of ablution or taking wudu in public. When we clean and rinse our mouth and nose, there's a risk of spreading the virus to someone in close proximity. Uh, this may happen at an ablution point in the mosque. Therefore, I encourage all congregants where possible to come to the mosque with their wudu. I would like to emphasize again that the, from what we understand in the literature, uh, there are groups who are particularly vulnerable to infections. Uh, these people, bodies may not survive uh, a battle with this uh, infection, in particularly those who are elderly, especially those who are above 60 years. Uh, they face a very high risk. In fact, the mortality is higher in this group of people. Again, the other group that is uh, at higher risk are those with chronic respiratory infection, as has been shared earlier with uh, Chief Executive as well as Mufti. Therefore, I strongly advise this group to continue to perform their daily prayers at home and continue to pray Zoho on Fridays at home.